Hello everyone. In this tutorial we will talk about analysis of variant tests that is ANOVA using SPSS. So what actually is ANOVA? We know that uh, we calculate the variance and by calculating the variance of different variables for example here gene A uh, with other variables we can actually get the correlation between the two variables that is actually called the analysis of variance so uh, that one an ANOVA so first of all uh, let's say what uh, this table is showing us that is actually of one mm, clinical data or you can say patient data that each ID correspond to any uh, patient then there is an expression value or gene expression value of any specific gene that is for example here gene A then gene B different values and then gene C uh, different values and then there are two types of drugs uh, two or three types of drugs for instance say drug A drug C and there will be a drug B right so these uh, drugs are given to each patient and then there is one other type of therapy that is for example chemotherapy or radiotherapy is given to the patients so here we will try to uh, estimate the variation of the gene expression based on a treatment right so here we have two types of variables one is the independent uh, dependent variable and one is the independent variable so let's start performing the analysis so first of all you have to go to the analyze and then <coughs> go to compare means I'll just guide you through the steps uh, we will not go into the technical details of the uh, analysis of variance but uh, from here you can easily uh, understand how to perform the analysis so here you have to click uh, in compare means one way ANOVA and for example here <coughs> what you need to select here is that uh, dependent uh, variable list uh, I'm just selecting one that is gene A uh, and then the factor which we want to check for instance we want to check the effect of drug on the gene uh, expression right so uh, let's see and uh, for in the options I have selected here descriptive homogeneity of variance tests for example we want to see that the variant whether the, uh, the test should be performed here the data, data is uh, homogeneous or not and then brown foresight test and wells test and then I also want to plot the means so yeah so we have to select these options then after clicking this by plot we can actually get the uh, picturistic view of what is actually happening in the results so now this is actually the result here you can see that drug a b and c the effect of drug on the mean expression of the gene for example here we have selected gene a so if we see here that uh, in uh, when we have given drug uh, a the mean expression is around 4087 that 4087 point something and the standard deviation is 814 and standard error and so on and so forth and for drug B and drug C here you can see that the mean expression is lower compared to uh, the mean expression in the first part of the drug uh, where we give the drug A right and uh, next you can see here that the homogeneity of variance here you can see that that result is significant it means that there is significant variance in the data and then if we go down and we can see here the results of the uh, between the groups that there is a significant difference again between that is less than 0 0.001 uh, of the uh, expression between the uh, groups that is drug A, B and C and uh, so we are uh, this is actually for the one way ANOVA and here if you can see that the Wells test and the Brown test also showed a very significant uh, difference or significant variance between the expression of gene A against different drugs and here similarly if you see it in the in the graphical view here in the uh, in this graph you can see here that when the drug A is given it has a very significant difference of expression between the groups of drug B and drug C so here we can see that the whether the this drug actually increased significantly the expression of this gene maybe this drug was targeting any specific uh, feature which was inhibiting the expression of gene A so that's why maybe this drug affected the overall expression of uh, the the gene 
right? So in this way you can perform a one-way ANOVA. I hope this is very simple and straightforward. In the next part we will talk about a two-way ANOVA and uh, where we can check the association or variance between the two different variables when we are trying to identify the association with any specific dependent variable. Thank you. Bye-bye.